you. Good evening, my name is Aditi. Uh, is it really a free media in today's time or just paid media? Do we have real news or just sensational news? You know, I'll give you two quick comments. Someone the other day asked me, and I said, for many newspapers in India, you don't need spectacles, but you need a water hose pipe. Because there's a plant on every page. Kushro Irani, who used to run the Statesman in Calcutta, once famously said, the press in India is as free as it chooses to be. But let's get real about the press. The press is not doing social service any longer. It's become a business. And as it's become a business, it's become an expensive business. So there will be channels that will delight you with the snake and mongoose dance. There will also be channels that will talk to you about development. You make the choice. Many Indians want to see a snake and mongoose getting married rather than see, you know, John Abraham marrying some other woman. So to each his own. I think the choice must be left with the viewer. But are we dumbing down as a society amongst the youth? My personal feeling is we are. I don't see many people reading edit page articles. I don't see discourse and debate like it used to happen. I don't see clubs discussing issues that are national in nature or nationalistic in nature. And you can't build an enduring society on hot air. There must be residual knowledge. And you look around, how many of you have been 35 kilometers away from here and spent an afternoon at the Sardar Patel uh, uh, Bhavan? We forget. We forget his contribution. We forget the contribution of many like him because, you know, we live in hurried times. But the point is you can't chase a rainbow all the time. You want to actually stop and smell rain-drenched earth. That's more important. But we as a society have become so busy chasing. You know, when people tell me, <clears throat> how do you get away by sleeping in the afternoon? And I will end with this. And I use the joke saying, India's safest only between two time zones. 1.30 to 3.30 when Manmohan Singh sleeps. <laughs> and 9.30 to 11.30 when a certain minister sleeps with everyone else. <laughs> and because this place I would tell you which minister. <laughs>